you know, diagnostics, just like everything else in cancer, is complex. Um, it started off with looking at where is the cancer coming from. This comes from an organ, such as the colon. You've got colon cancer, or the breast. You've got breast cancer. Realize that cancer is the result of genetic alterations, right? There's changes in the in the library of your cell that tells it what to do. And so once they realized that those letters were getting messed up, they said, well, let's start sequencing them. And at first they would do one at a time. And then they said, okay, well, let's focus on one gene at a time and take a look at the very special genes, the ones that we are common to cancer, uh, like KRAS, and we'll talk a lot about that. And at some point they got much faster and much more broad about how they could do it. So they said, well, let's look at the 600 most common genes in cancer. And we'll call that next-gen sequencing. Now we at Century Health, we process all the clinical trials for cancer. And this week, there are 200 new ones for us to evaluate. And so uh, uh, I guarantee of many of those, if not most of those, are targeting some genetic mutations. And they did not exist yesterday. And they exist today. So I think that the, the, the whole field is moving. And, and so having this in hand and being ready with it, it just makes sense. I just want to simplify things and make it straightforward. Um, if you're a cancer patient, make sure you ask your doctor, can I get next-gen sequencing? Can I get Boston Gene because they have whole exome RNA seq? And can I get M-probe, the mass spec protein test to look at hundreds of proteins in that cancer? Those are the questions that we would have every cancer patient ask their doctor today. And if their doctor doesn't look like they know what they're talking about, come to us and we'll help you. I think it's a good place to wrap up. So.